my gosh. That was like a little loud for this morning, right? Should I say instead, hello, Stevies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Today was, I'm just going to say it, it was a shit show. <laughs> I had everything ready and packed last night. Well, mostly everything, right? This morning, I woke up, knew it was going to rain, had an idea what I was going to wear, um, got all the heated gear that I had ever imagined to need. I was sweating so much that I did not put my heated pants on. I did put my heated liner in, just in case. But as you can see, <laughs> I'm wearing my Dixon gloves, which are really light weight, because I was so sweaty that I could not get my new gloves on. Yeah, that's that's been the kind of morning I've had. But look at that. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Miss Stevie doesn't see a lot of sunrises because Miss Stevie's usually sleeping right now. And it's, it's kind of foggy out today too. But I'm super, super stoked it's not uh, the R word right now, which I already said it, so I know I'm going to get it, but I do have my my R pants on right now, so I'm good there. Um, I did bring my R uh, jacket, but my R jacket doesn't really keep me dry. So I am on my way, can anybody guess, to Oklahoma for the stubborn American Rally at the Cave River Campground. Super stoked about it, super happy. I am headed to Sabetha, Kansas to meet up with the River Bluff Baggers. I will check back in a little bit. I am going to um, share with you my journey. This is the first solo ride I've ever done before on the highway for a few hours. So let's do this. Look at that, guys. Look at that sun. It's so pretty. I love sunsets and sunrises. That is so pretty. Love it. John. 
is going to be great fun. Oh, the sun is out. This is going to be a great, amazing day today. So I am with two of the River Bluff baggers. Sounds like Neil and Jerry are going to come tomorrow and meet them at the K River campground. So we are headed there together. Um, they are staying at the K River campground and I am staying in Antlers, Oklahoma, which is just south of Moyer. So we'll come to Moyer and then they'll peel off and go to the campground and then I'll keep going and go to Antlers. So I'm super excited about this. It's my first journey by myself with people that I just have met through YouTube, guys. And I finally got to meet John. He does exist, you guys. He really does. Just stopping ga to gas up in about an hour and a half, and then we'll be on our way again. Oh boy, there's cones, more cones. Please don't hit a cone, buddy. Miss Stevie does not want to get hit by another cone. <laughs> so as you can see, sun, yes clouds, but it doesn't look the greatest over there. Or really over there. And I, I have a feeling that's the direction we're headed in. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So I might be taking my GoPro off for a while. Um, yeah. I have my R stuff on too, guys. And I'm not even saying the word. I have it on for reason. But the guys that I'm with do not. When this comes out, it's your fault if it R's on us. It's your fault. Because you should be prepared. You should be wearing your gear. Because then it wouldn't R on us. Look at all the fall colors, guys. We are in Kansas still. And we are headed to Oklahoma. I am with River Bluff Baggers. Said it right. And we went through a little bit of rain. You can see my windshield's a little wet. But it was more of sprinkles. So I did not take the GoPro off. So I will not be in GoPro jail. But look, look, there's the sun. The sun is coming out. Guys, this is just a perfect day. And then it goes back behind the clouds. But that's okay. At least I know the sun is out today. And it's not going to be a miserable ride. Which, I, like I said, I'm prepared. So I'm good either way. And am I right when I say that any day on the bike is a good day? I love that saying.
motorcycle just got a shit ton of sexy. I'm loving it. And get in here. Look at this thing. You're amongst friends. I am. Whether you like it or not. to Kansas getting closer and closer to home it has been a fun trip got to see some old friends got to make some new friends got to talk to so many people and all while having an amazing time huge shout out to Adam Sanderville for putting together this K River campground it was a lot of fun. Can't wait to come again next year. Man, it's a gorgeous day today. It started off cool, but it's five o'clock in the morning when we left, so pretty soon I'm gonna have to pull over and take some layers off. So I arrived at K River on Thursday. I uh, left at 7 a.m. on Thursday, headed to Sabetha, Kansas, where I met up with Tom and Joe, which are two of the people that make up the River Bluff baggers. I never met Joe. This was the first time I ever met him, but um, Jerry and Neil came later on, on Friday. But, so we, I rode to Kansas and then I rode the rest of the way with Joe and Tom to Oklahoma. We should have gotten there around four or five o'clock, maybe at the latest. We did not get to Antlers, 
Oklahoma until about 8 o'clock that evening. And the last two hours that I rode, or that we rode, it was raining so bad and the wind was so horrible that you could not see either line on the road. Um, you couldn't see the center line, you couldn't see the shoulder line, and I could barely see Tom's brake lights or back lights at all. And we just kept pushing forward, kept pushing forward. We even stopped at a gas station, kind of waited for the rain to stop, which it did not stop, but it was so bad out and we were all so soaked and so tired and hungry that they just stayed at the Airbnb with Angie, Sunny, and I because, I mean, it, it was just so bad. Um, I have waterproof shoes that, that Josh looked into. He researched the crap out of the stuff. Um, if you know my husband at all, he researches everything to the full extent to get the best deal, the best price, the best item possible. And these shoes, I can't remember what they're called. I'll put it in down below. But these shoes are supposed to be waterproof, but I think six hours of pouring rain and wind doesn't really compute to waterproof. I mean, I've been through storms before and my feet did not get wet inside my shoe. This time, I could pour the water out of my shoe. That's how much rain we were in the entire time, okay? Just to give you an idea. And my rain pants, they ripped. I don't know how that happened. I've never had that happen before, but they did not rip where you would think they would rip. They ripped in the legs. So I, I got nothing, guys. And I was soaked underneath my rain gear. I did bring two pairs of jeans on this trip. I'm wearing the ones that were wet inside my bag. The other pair were still wet yesterday from Thursday. I, I got this down pat, guys. Kind of. <laughs> I can pack my own stuff by myself. Um, I can get going by myself. I can get myself home. Do you go to your parents? You just slipped right, slipped right out of where they live. <laughs> <laughs> 